Hey, how's it going? I'm Isla Golden and welcome to my vlog. Alright, okay, so I love it when I'm sort of sitting down and I'm like, I don't really know what I want to talk about again. Um, so there are plenty of things that I could talk about. I also try, kind of want to avoid getting ranty. Um, <laughs> the, my, my problem at the moment is a lot of the things that are in my head and on my brain um, are things that I want to get ranty about and when I get ranty I do notice that I have a tendency to contradict myself. That's one of the reasons why I will quite often refilm vlogs once I've had more of a chance to sort of establish what it is I want to say and what message I want to get across um, and then obviously they then come across a little bit less ranty because I've, I've had more of a chance to formulate my thoughts and to really sort of sit down and think about various things. Um, so it's a case of uh, do I want to talk about certain things whilst I'm still in that sort of ranty frame of mind um, or do, would, I, would it be better for me to sort of like stop and think about things a little bit more before actually um, focusing my thoughts on what I need to be talking about in regards to a particular topic and then sort of going from there. Um, it's hard to know and um, it's one of those things that it's hard to know for sure what the best approach is going to be. I mean at this moment in time not a huge amount of people watch these vlogs so if I come across not necessarily in a way that I am 100% happy with um, because they are being sort of filmed very off the cuff and in a very honest way, in a very kind of rambly way, um, yeah sometimes I'm gonna sound either like I'm slightly contradicting myself or kind of realising as I'm saying something that no that's not what I mean and then sort of uh, clarifying it and sometimes I don't notice till afterwards. Um, and stuff like that and you know that, that's the sort of nature of vlog filming it is a very organic process um which is why i'll sometimes refilm vlogs because it will give me the opportunity to, to refocus what it is i want to say and it's still being done in a very organic very sort of off the cuff kind of way i'm still not like for planning what i'm going to say um but it does give me more of a chance to sort of go okay this is what didn't work about like my first attempt or my second attempt um but these are kind of where my thoughts are at and this is kind of what i want to say and i you know i, I can then sort of focus on it a little bit more and then hopefully by the time these go up um i'm not sort of saying anything that i'm unhappy that i've said i never let a vlog go up if i've said anything that i i don't believe in or i'm completely unhappy with but at the same time when it's sort of just like a rambling of thoughts sometimes things aren't necessarily as clear as you would like them to be um but again because nobody's watching these at the moment but i'm not getting into trouble for for that so i'm assuming that anybody who is watching it is understanding what my meaning is and um i you know it is human nature for you to sort of like assume that you're being clear with the points that you're making um especially when nobody is telling you otherwise and it's one of those things where I do sort of like part of the reason why I do sort of refilm vlogs sometimes isn't so much for the audience that I know I currently have because as as much as I appreciate you know the people who are watching my vlogs I know there's not a lot of them who are watching my vlogs but it's for that if someday more people find my vlogs or once I become a big famous author you know because that's going to happen <laughs> but you know if I were to start making a name for myself and people were to go back and watch these um I want to be fairly happy with how they are and fairly happy with how they come across um so it's important to me for my points to be as clear as possible and if I'm not 100% happy that I've come across clearly that's when I'll sort of like go back and, and refilm things but that's also why if I do one which comes across as very ranty, um, I, I know that my point is probably going to be muddled within that because a lot of that is me sort of formulating my thoughts in kind of real time. Um, 
living on my own um, and sort of typing things out to a lot of people and not sort of like talking to a lot of people in, in real life about a lot of these things. Um, there's a difference between having a verbal conversation and having a text conversation uh, when it comes to certain things. Um, so you're not always formulating your thoughts in quite the same way. Um, and then when you sort of like verbalize a lot of these thoughts, they end up being a lot less clear than you you feel they are um or you think they are because you've not like really had a chance to express them um so when i sort of like do sit down and i do feel like one of my my vlogs comes across as a little bit more ranty um that's when and that, the main reason for me to sort of like go back and, and refilm it is not me worrying about me coming across as ranty there's you know that is what it is it's me making sure that the thoughts that I'm getting across are as clear as possible um, because I know that, you know, when I rant, I have a tendency to talk in circles and like a lot of those those vlogs, even once they, they do end up being uh, refilmed, still end up with some of that like circular myth to them because that's, you know, that's the organic nature of basically sitting down and like filming your thoughts as you're thinking about things and the nature of the, of the human brain when you're sort of like thinking about things you don't like think in a straight line as much as you sort of like think in like strange patterns <laughs> i guess is the best way of sort of putting it um so yeah it, it, it's one of those things where i'm like in a situation at the moment where there are definitely a lot of things that i i want to talk about and a lot of things that are like on my brain um and a lot of things that are important for me to talk about because of, of certain things that are going on at the moment but it, I need to have the opportunity to kind of really solidify and formulate what my thoughts are um, before I can sort of like sit down and you know actually film vlogs of, about those things because I don't with the issue with my jaw at the moment I don't want to have to keep re-recording stuff um, and that was very much what I found when I had to re-record the last one was my jaw the way it is at the moment um it is not comfortable to be having to talk for any length of time um not necessarily whilst I'm actually talking if I'm like continuously talking I'm not necessarily feeling it constantly I mean I'm getting like niggles but it's not like a constant like feeling um I notice it more if I'm like stopping and starting, stopping and starting. So more in like a conversational sense, I'll probably notice more um, with with how bad it is. Um, but I do know that if I've done a particular amount of talking during the course of the day, um, when I sort of like stop, that's when I will really notice it. So um, it, it's one of those things where yeah previously it was all well and good for me to go okay i'm not completely happy with how that rant sort of came across let me refilm it let me see if i can organize those thoughts a little bit better let me um try and make sure my message is clear and what i'm trying to say is clear um, while still being as off the cuff as possible because that's you know that's the nature of vlogging and i don't write anything down i don't make notes for myself or anything like that i just literally sit in front of the camera and then just talk and if i've had like one or two opportunities of previously filming something um, but haven't been completely happy with certain parts of it, sitting down with sort of like a, a more mental um, organisation for it is not the same as like having it scripted out, it's still very much done of this is my train of thought, so they're just a little bit more organised because I've had those two or, two or one or two or however many previous attempts at it and I'm always very honest if I'm re-recording something, I always say, look, I've, you know, I am re-recording this because I wasn't happy about, like, my previous attempts at doing it. Um, and, and sometimes I'll be like, I, I, I've tried to talk about something and I just can't, so for now that's kind of not there. And, you know, it, it's one of those things where before my jaw got really bad, that was fine. It, you know, it wasn't something that um, bothered me too much to do. Because like sometimes having those few days in between for you to like really think about what it is you were trying to say and then sort of get what you're trying to say right um, can make the difference between a vlog that is very like unfocused and not necessarily contradictory but borderline contradictory 
um, and a vlog that has like a clear point to it, even if it's a bit rambly and a little bit all over the place. Um, but with my job the way it is, um, having to sit down and re-record a few days later, when what I really want to do is just not talk <laughs> and actually try and rest my jaw properly during the course of my day off. Um, it's not like, it, it is a mentally tiring prospect and it's something that I want to try and avoid doing. Um, but that also then means that these things that I want to be talking about that I know is probably going to take me a few attempts to get right because just as the nature of the topics themselves and just how easy it is when I'm still in like a mentally ranty mode about it to kind of focus my thoughts and, and really figure out, you know, what I want to say and how I want to say it. Um, it means that I'm less willing to do those sorts of vlogs at the moment, even though I know it's important for me to try and, and talk about those things and, and try and do those things. Um, because they, they are things that I care about, and that's like part of the reason why I know that I would keep refilming those until I got them right. And it's kind of a case of I really want to be doing that because it's really important for me to be doing those sorts of vlogs um, and making sure that I'm getting the right message across when I'm doing those sorts of vlogs. But it's daunting enough sitting down having to write a blog when the thing that you need in order to communicate is the thing that is giving you a lot of pain and um, as I've mentioned like last couple of times when I've um, spoken about the issues with my jaw is that it is going off into earache um, it's also it's I don't know if it's like my glands that it's kind of making feel inflamed or, or what but I quite often like it feels like there's pressure here a lot of the time um, sure you've noticed like my voice is not um my, my voice is not always the best when I'm talking anymore um it quite often is sounding strained when I you know I you know I, I could have been resting it for a couple of days and it's still you know sounding strained um I notice it quite a bit in work and I, again I have to shout in work and like every time I go to shout in work you can hear how strained my voice is sounding at this point and there isn't much that I can do about it because both of the things that I need in order to lower my voice into a lower register in order to shout more comfortably are both restricted. <laughs> so I can't actually get my voice um, into a range that would prevent it from straining because from one end it's constricting and from the other end it's constricting so I, I literally have no pitch control on my voice anymore and it is really annoying to be in that kind of situation um just in in general and it, it doesn't help that I still have no idea when my appointment with the specialist is going to be and no idea kind of like how that is is going to shape up and, and go and, and what might happen as a result of that and it's like I'm just in this situation where you know it, a I'm in pain b the things that are in pain are making me feel unwell because of you know how the systems work um and stuff like that because like basically I'm, I feel like I've got a sore throat even though I don't have a sore throat but it, like it, it feels like I've got a restricted kind of sore throat, um, which, you know, isn't, isn't great. And that kind of makes me feel like I've got a cold going on or something like that. And then obviously the ear pain, um, anybody who, who has an earache knows that can make you feel really unwell just in and of itself, even if there's like nothing else going on with it. Um, so it's, it's one of those situations where like everything's like combining together and it's making you feel quite unwell. And then on top of that, you've got the well speaking is painful <laughs> not necessarily as i'm talking but like yeah even as i'm talking it's sort of like niggling constantly in the background um and i know what will hurt the most is once i've stopped talking and it's it's had a few seconds to kind of just stop and that's when it will like really kick in and that's that's when i will really notice it um so it's like sitting down and having to film a vlog is daunting enough at the moment um, just on its own, but I want to keep 
doing this and I want to keep maintaining doing this as much as possible because I enjoy like filming the vlogs I enjoy doing the vlogs like there's a reason I keep doing this even though I know I don't really have an audience um it is because it is something that I do enjoy doing and it's not something that I I feel like I need to stop just because of this issue but at the same time this issue is then restricting me on what I feel like I can be doing with these vlogs because if I sit down I just want to be recording this once I don't want to have to re-record it two or three times in order to make sure what I'm saying is as clear as possible um and a lot of the topics I want to talk about at the moment are topics that I know from experience I usually end up re-recording two or three times in order to make sure that what I'm saying is as clear as possible because it's things that I'm genu I genuinely care about and things that I'm genuinely passionate about and things that are genuinely important to me so I always try to make sure that those things you know come across sounding the way that I want them to sound that the message that I'm getting across is as clear as possible that um, I'm not sort of like talking in circle as much as I, I might do in, in other vlogs so it, you know, it's, it's one of those cases where I'm like, yeah, those are the ones that I do tend to re-record. Those are the ones that I do tend to do my best to make sure that I'm getting them out um, right. Um, the first, well, the however many times it takes me to get it right. Um, but I'm in, in a situation at the moment where I, I don't want to have to be doing that um, because it's going to cause me a lot of pain. So... I'm probably going to be sitting down for the next few vlogs and just filming very random, very kind of, oh, this is not very important, but I'm going to talk about it anyway, sort of vlogs. Um, I may talk about my writing because I tend to find that if I'm talking about my writing, I'm like a lot more focused than I am on, on various other things. Um, but again, I know, like, you know, the, the updated type ones can get very repetitive, which is why I don't do them as much as I used to. Because um, I think, you know, there are more interesting things for me to be talking about. And yes, I know this channel is supposed to be sort of promoting me as a writer and I spend very little time talking about me as a writer. But um, it's one of those things where it's kind of like, I know what's more interesting for me to sort of be talking about um, and yes I do get very excited and very passionate talking about my stories but I also don't want to like be spoiling um, anything especially with things that haven't come out yet and stuff like that so I find it can be quite difficult knowing what to talk about when I'm talking about my writing um, in order to sort of like make it interesting without making it too spoilery uh, so it can be like a, a sort of double-edged sword sort of doing doing those ones and I know like you know that they're, they're, they're fine and they're good that you know they're important to this channel and I will definitely probably be doing at least one in the next few weeks um but at the same time it's more likely to be uh me sitting down and then just picking a topic once I've sort of sat down kind of ones and they're probably not going to be the most interesting topics in the world because the interesting things that I want to be talking about are the types of vlogs that I know will take me two or three times of recording to get it right and I just can't do that I can't put myself through that at the moment because it's hard enough getting through one of these vlogs um with the amount of discomfort and the amount of pain that is it's causing me to actually talk um just both in the process of talking where it works really uncomfortable and in the process of the recovery afterwards when it you know it can take me a while for, for that sort of pain and discomfort to settle down enough for you know it to sort of be background noise again um it, it i don't want to sort of i i, I don't sort of want to put myself in a situation where i know i'm going to have to keep re-recording re this until i'm happy i would rather just be in a situation where it's like okay not most interesting topic in the world but this is what it is this is you know what i'm going with um and i'm just gonna be happy with that um because at least I can do it in one take and not have to go back and, and redo it for any reason because, you know, I'm it, it's rambly nonsense, but at least it's done. Um, and I, I know that's not like the best mode of thinking, but with just how much this discomfort and this pain is like disrupting my life at the moment, I would rather save the energy for the things that I can't avoid doing um, rather than create myself 
more unavoidable situations. Um, so yeah, all right, okay. <laughs> um, I hope you found this one sort of interesting. Um, I hope you're looking forward to seeing whatever it is I'm going to be talking about next time, and I will see you next time. See ya. If you've enjoyed this video, consider checking out some of my others, and if you like what you see, consider liking and subscribing. Thanks for watching. See ya.